hi guys welcome to our tutorial working with Linux file content in this tutorial we will learn a few Linux commands and which will be helpful to work with the Linux file content so the commands which we are going to learn in this uh, tutorials is cat tack head tail more and less so first we will start with the head command so by default the head command will display the first 10 lines of a file and if I want to display the first 10 lines of a file password file in etc directory then I can use the command head and then space etc password head etc password and it can display 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 lines uh, what if I want to display the first two line of the file then I can specify the number of lines so the command will be head mm, iPhone 2 and then the name of the file so now you see that it's displaying only two lines of the file so similarly you can specify different number of lines you want to display so head hyphen n n can be any number now if you want to display the last 10 lines of the file the tail of the file then you can use the command tail and see password and now it's it's displaying the last 10 lines of the file so you can count the lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and if you want to display last 5 lines of the file and you can do head hyphen 5 and etc and the password now you can count the lines so 1 2 3 4 5 so it's pretty much similar to head command and then you specify the number of lines you want to display another command which we are going to learn is um, cat command it's the short for concatenate and what it does it it's just um, copy the standard input to the standard output and this command can be very useful so if you want to display the contents of the any file onto the standard output or onto your screen you can just use the command cat and then space name of the file so let's see if we can display the content of the file etc solve.conf so here you can see the contents in the file similarly you can display the password file etc password and here you can see the contents on the standard output monitor or screen okay now we'll use a cat command with another example so let's clear the screen with the command clear and if you do ll to see the listing long listing in the directory we got only these three files or four files so let's import some text echo some text to a file file 1 and then some echo more text to file 2 and then echo enjoy to <coughs> the file 3 so now if you just do ll you will see three files here file 1 2 3 now if I want to display the contents of all these three files so I can do cat file 1 file 2 file 3 so all the input or all the text which we have inserted into these three files we can display them with the cat command so if I just hit enter now you can see this is tutorial which we inputted it or inserted into file 1 then about Linux 
we insert it into file 2 and then enjoy to file 3 so this is another example of using a cat command now let's uh, see another example of the cat command we can also create some file and we can insert some text into the file so let's do long listing so we got this file now we are going to create a new file so we are using cat command and the greater than sign health text and then now you can see on the next line it's waiting for the input or the text you want to enter into this file so good health is blessing now if you are done with inserting the text or you're done with any input into the file you can press control plus T and that's it now if you want to output the contents of the health.txt you can use command cat space health.txt and you can see the content which we have inserted into health.txt file I hope now you got the idea of using a cat command now we'll see another example of another command tac tac which is a reverse of uh, cat so what does tag does it, it displays the the lines in the reverse order so let's see this example I'm going to create another file um, reverse dot txt press enter now it's waiting for the input so one two three four or say this is line 1 this is line 2 this is line 3 Hit enter and now to send the signal as end of file do control D and now you are done so if I want to display the content of reverse dot text with a normal cat command I can do cat reverse dot txt now you can see the lines in the same order as I enter the text and now if I want to display the contents in the reverse order it will display the lines the, the order of lines in the reverse order so I can do tac and reverse dot text now you can see the last line has become the first line and it's displaying all the lines in the reverse order okay you can also use a custom end marker with the cat command to end the, the file end of the file so let's see this example cat um, test dot txt and we will show the custom end marker here as like uh, it can be anything stop now hit enter now we will start entering the line this is line 1 this is line 2 and this is line line 3 and now if I will enter stop so it will end the line and uh, it will end the uh, file and hit enter now you can see it has finished and it uh, stopped waiting for more input so now output the content of task dot txt you can see the contents of the file now we'll talk about another useful command which is more and less so if you have a file and it's got a huge content and you want to display it on the monitor with cat command um, you can use an option more which will display the content um, in pages and then you can press the spacebar to go to the next page so let's see an example of another file I hope it has got a l huge text
so here you can see as soon as I entered cat you can see the output it's huge and you have to you are scrolling up and down it's difficult to see the contents so what I'm going to do now I'll clear the screen I will use the same command but with option more so now it will display the output in pages so you can see you can see the f first portion of the file here as a page and at the bottom you can see more so if I want to go to next page now I'll enter space so go to the next page again press enter and press enter and then you can read you know contents page by page until you reach at the end and if you want to quit just press Q and that's it similarly you can use the command less So here you can see the output as in pages. Again, you can press spacebar and you can reach at the end by pressing spacebar. And you can see end here. If you want to quit, press Q. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if you have any question and thanks.